yesterday's lightning storm was not something ordinary. Um, this was literally extremely powerful plasma as well as ether coming in on our realm. Photon rays being emitted and um, it was like none other. Um, there was a plasma storm where plasma energy literally came through and like did some heavy damage. A lot of um, areas had no lights. Multiple states, all right? Multiple states. This is in daytime. These are plasma storms that were going on. Not all clouds are man-made clouds. There are some clouds that are formed by nature. As you can see, you see the dragon there. Let me see if I can pull it back. Let's pull it back here. You see the dragon there? That's the dragon. So we understand that there's something different going on right now in our realm. And we're going to talk about this a little, in a little while, okay? Now, you remember we talked about gases and when plasma is in the atmosphere. This is hydrogen gas, which you see a rainbow, which shows that other gases, but the sky was mainly filled with hydrogen, which is why it was red. Uh, the red is really orange when plasma energy charges up hydrogen it turns a different color so this was all going on yesterday we had huge plasma storms com coming in and this was designed to charge up the original people now let's go a little further okay? well they put 927 <laughs> and meant 827 but still um these plasma storms are happening everywhere, all right? And like I say, sometimes clouds are not created by mankind. There are natural clouds that are, that are created by nature, all right? And nature creates these clouds in order to carry certain energies sometimes. But this is um, plasma energy, extremely powerful plasma energy, all right? And uh, winds were high, which, you know, denotes um, plasma energy is coming in. But this is more so of a cosmic storm and not a solar storm. Not from the sun. This is a cosmic storm that's coming in. This is a pure cosmic energy that came in. Pure cosmic rays that came in through the form of plasma energy. showing everywhere where these storms were. Now, what happened last night? What happened yesterday? What I noticed was that that was a lot of electricity going through my hands. I tried to cool my body down, but my feet were extremely hot. I also, um, had a hard time sleeping. It was like I was up all night because this energy was this freaking high. And it felt like my body got all charged up because today, my first time eating was at 5 o'clock. From the time I woke up at oh 7 something this morning, I didn't eat anything until about 5 o'clock. As you can see, this happened everywhere. Plasma storms everywhere. But you have to understand, this energy is coming down because it's, this energy is bringing us back to a point where we once were. 
this energy is bringing us back to a point, to a pitiful point where we are going, as original beings, are going to return into absolute power. We literally are the original beings who originated from nature and the cosmos. So understand what is currently happening right now on our, in our realm, on our planet, in our skies, in our atmosphere, in our lives. And I'm going to tell you this right here. This plasma storm also um, timelines were shifted because the stock market was way down as well. So timelines shifted and we're in a different realm of time in our realm right now. Minnesota, before the sky turned blood orange or blood red, everyone was experiencing a green sky. This guy said everywhere in the sky was green at first and then it turned an orange pink color. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, look at that crazy, crazy orange red color over there. Look at that, y'all. Look at look at the clouds. Why did it look so digitized, huh? Look at that. Here go a little video. And then from the green skies to heavy rain windstorm, a lot of plasma going on in the atmosphere. Look at that. Look at this, y'all. This shit crazy. Imagine driving through this and not knowing what is going on in the world. But you already know, like, there will be signs in the heavens. Look at this. And then this how it looked when everything subsided, y'all. Check it out. I see that. It's like, it's, this is literally the war of the worlds. You got one dark entity on this side and you have this. Look at that. It's like the whole colors are different. Look how bright. See? That plasma's not even making it through, y'all. Look at that. Look at the difference. Y'all see how much that color just jumped? And look at that. Y'all see that? The different layers? There's so many layers in the sky. Mm. Y'all do remember last week, this was in Minnesota, where that plasma was hitting for over two hours straight. This is what they experienced. Look at that. So Minnesota is known as the Twin City, and that was our son's binary twin within the mist. I told y'all there are no coincidences. Things are happening at an extremely alarming rate. The signs are all over the place. We're just going through the tribulation now. But let me know what you guys think about this video. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes. Okay, so you said before the sky turned a pinkish orange color. This is this green right here. This is argon gas. Argon gas uh, will turn green when charged with plasma energy. All right, which means the skies was full of plasma and there was a lot of argon gas. We have multiple gases in the atmosphere, gases that we breathe in every day. And we don't even know that we breathe in these different gases. That's kind of kind of um, strange, isn't it? But yeah, um, sometimes there are some people who can breathe in certain gases. But we're not going to get into that because I don't want YouTube to go say medical misinformation, you know, because they'll be glad to do that to try to give me a strike. So, um... But this is the green is argon gas that's in the atmosphere. Now let's 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 go ahead here. The red color over there. Look at that, y'all. Look at All look right. at the clouds. That. Why did it look so digitized? See that's argon gas. That he said he said also the guy said that uh, the sky turned to like an orangey orangey pink color. And if you have like a pinkish orange color, you got two different gases in the atmosphere. You're going to have neon, which gives you that red orange look. And you're going to have helium, which is going to give you that pink look. All right. So the different gases that are in the air, all right, that, um, are um, that are being that are that are being charged up by the plasma energy. The plasma energy li literally uh, sh shows the gas. Okay, let's go on here. Huh? Look at that. Here you go a little video. And then from the green skies to heavy rain, windstorm, a lot of plasma going on in the atmosphere. Look at that. Look at this, y'all. This shit crazy. Yeah. Imagine driving through this. Now, if you look at that, you see the, you see you got a little yellow, a little, um, orangey, 
red hue, um, the yellow is helium, okay, that yellow is helium. Also, if you see that reddish look, the red could be either radon or either um, hydrogen, but the red is most and more likely it's going to be um, radon, all right, that's uh, emitting some of this red. So it's multiple gases in the, in the air. You got helium, um, which is like that yellowish color. You got um, radon, gives like that reddish color. You got a little bit of hydrogen in there. Um, see back there, you got the white back there. You see all the white that's back there. Um, that's krypton. All that white back there, that's going to be your krypton gas back there. You might think it's cloud, clouds, but it's gases. So that's going to be your krypton gas right there in the back with all that white. Um, see, like you got a little, like some darkish color right there. That's ether. When ether is charged up by plasma, it has like this dark, that dark, but it's going to be seen with other gases. So that dark is right there. That's ether right there. So you understand that that was a plasma storm, but then there was a whole lot of gases, and these gases are charged, and they literally have charged particles. So all these gases in the air is bringing down all this energy on the planet. All right, it's pretty much like the what they call the aurora borealis. It's just a different type. Okay. There will be signs in the heavens. Look at this. All right, let's and then move this on. how it looked when everything subsided, y'all. Check it out. Okay, see, so now you see like a little purple in the sky, like lavender. That's also, um, that's argon. What else emits like a purple light color, a violet color? Oxygen gives like that violet color. You see this violet right there? Uh, oxygen gives off the violet color. Um, mercury is in the air, which also gives off the violet, the violet blue uh, light. So you're talking about multiple gases in the air right here during this plasma storm. That's um, that's literally, I mean, multiple, multiple gases that's being charged in the sky. I mean, that's a lot of different gases um, in the sky. And you got to understand that these gases, like we say, these gases have charged particles. They have charged energy. They have charged, at, uh, they're charged atoms. All right, you see a little bit, of, you see some neon right there. You see the little neon right there. So multiple gases in the, see in that? the atmosphere. It's like, it's, this is literally the war of the worlds. You got one dark entity. You see right here as it turns like, you know, you see that peachy, oranges, orangey color, um, which is, that's going to be like an orange or a... Um, that's going to be a neon right there. That's neon gases. So there were multiple gases in the air, in the atmosphere that you saw that um, that was literally a part of this plasma storm. All right. right? So all these gases coming into the in, the in the atmosphere and these gases coming ground level. They just don't stay in the air. They come ground level. They touch the ground. They touch the ground and and then from the ground it spreads all across the land. This is how uh, this this happens. I mean, we're talking science here, brothers and sisters. This is pure science here. This, I mean, you, you can't jump on top of this and say, well, we don't know what it is. No, these, these are gases that are being charged by the, the plasma energy that's in the atmosphere, okay? Now you got this bar right here. Look at that. That's That's charged particles um, that's going to be like a reddish orange which is going to be a neon um, as well as some uh, helium that's going to be a part of that some radon that's in there you know these these are different gases in the air so yeah <laughs> this is you remember we talked about the crystals and how the the plasma energy the lightning bolt which is plasma energy hits the ground and you may have um, radon in the atmosphere and it goes in, the lightning bolt hits the ground and goes deep on the ground and therefore a crystal is formed from from that and you have the different crystals like citrine, citrine is like a yellowish color that's going to be, that's going to be full of uh, helium, like your citrine is full of helium, um, you know you got your um, 
uh, what's that? The green aura quartz. You got your green aura quartz. Also, you have emerald, which is you know there's, there's different two different types of crystal. And what what it is is the the amount of gas that's in there. One is lighter than the other one. So the emerald would have more um, argon in it than the green aura quartz would have in it. Green aura quartz is a little bit lighter than the emerald. So I mean, this is this is you know this is science that we're talking about here. Okay. Now you see right here, it went from, let's show you right here. I'm just gonna show you real quick. See, that plasma's not even making it see? through, y'all. Look this at here. that. Look at the difference. And show you. Y'all see how much that color just jumped? And look. See how the, 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 the gases are, are, are literally uh, in the air, you got certain certain parts of the air that has one part, one some gas, certain gases in one part of the air, then the same sky, but you got gases in the other part of the air. And this is going to be like your violet, purple, uh, which also, or lavender, which is going to be argon. All right. So it's just the amount of argon that determines the gases in the air. So just like that that reddish color which was the the um we said that that was the neon that was your neon but the neon literally as the as he they moved across the sky you see it switched over from neon to argon i mean this is these are gases that are charged up in the sky from the plasma energy and this was a plasma storm guys this literally was a plasma storm <laughs> these are pure plasma energy discharges that happened yesterday See there? So this is a plasma storm. Um, let's see where we where it is at. Um, actually, it's not sure where it came from. It's not sure where it came from. But it's some city. But there was a huge plasma storm that was caught on camera. And this, our planet is literally being charged up. Our realm is being charged up. Seriously, brothers and sisters. Chicago, Minnesota, Oklahoma, Michigan, everywhere. There was plasma storms everywhere. And you have to remember that we're coming into the days where, let me turn this down some. We're coming to the days where our bodies as the original beings are being charged up, okay? Our, bar our bodies are being charged up to um, literally shift into what we're supposed to be. And we're going to be talking about that very soon, all right? Because we have a whole enemy who tried to keep us from where we are supposed to be. You know, that's that Dr. Jekyll, that Mr. Hyde, that's your, your Bruce Banner and, and the Hulk. I mean, this is where, where we are, okay? So, um, like I said, my feet were burning up yesterday. I mean, I tried cooling them off. I was trying to put them under air. I tried everything. My feet were burning up. And so when I went to meditation, my meditation was so heightened last night. But um, as that plasma storm started coming through Detroit um, and the high winds, you know, I went, our lights had blinked for a second and I immediately went outside and linked into the atmosphere and began calming the winds down. I had to calm the winds down in the city. The, 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 all the cities around Detroit, I don't know what happened with them, but I did it for the city. And I literally calmed the winds down. I had to talk to her. Her name is Atmos. All right, just to let you guys know her name is Atmos, and I had to talk to her, and you know she she calmed down, she calmed down for for Detroit. Now we're going to talk about why these beings are afraid of us returning into absolute power. All right, and Brother Bobby did a um a piece on that, or 
who we are as original beings. You remember I, I, the one thing I told you all, you know, one thing you've been taught, we are mystical beings, all right? And no matter what these none, these solas, none, um, none original beings are trying to do to us, they cannot stop nature. They've tried everything in their possible might to shut down our bodies. But guess what? It's inevitable. It's going to happen. All right? Especially with so many of us that's awakened. All right? So this plasma energy was coming everywhere to charge up our bodies, our carbon bodies. All right? Because our bodies literally need this plasma energy in order to operate on the full potential. All right? So let's listen to Brother Bobby real quick, okay? So this is Brother Bobby um, talking about us. Now, you're going to understand why there is such a fight against us. Okay, take a listen. So you're against the demonic world. You're against your own self because the Damien is nothing but the soul inside of you. The Damien and soul is the same. The word Damien, the word melanin, the word Hades, the word Satan is the same as the word soul. The pre-existent sons, the, 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 the sons. So the whole concept here is the return of the ancient evil is us. The problem here is we have been thinking of our particular selves as good. Now, one of the great mysteries, yeah, one of the great mysteries in ancient Kemet is when they go down what is called the Book of the Gates, and that's when the soul descends deeper and deeper into what is called the twat or the underworld at the hours, each hour of the night. The closer it descends down to the stuff, the more and more the layers of the illusion starts to pop off of this shit. So it starts off as a human, and then it starts to descend, going into the underworld, and all these illusions, bam, pops off. I thought I was this, that, that, that pops off. All this shit pops off, it keeps popping off, it keeps popping off till they get to the goddamn underworld, and guess what? When they get to the damn underworld, guess what? Only thing is left is a whole bunch of monsters. That's what we are. Now, you don't want you to hear what I'm trying to say. Nah. He makes an allusion to it in his book uh, called the um, E. Wallace Budge book, The Egyptian Heaven and Hell. There was a little small volume that was put out years ago. They waited 90 years to put the original text out from, from 1906. I think to 1996, which is three other volumes. And in there they talk about these monsters that's in these realms when you descend deeper in the, in, into the underworld. Whenever we shed all of this stuff that we call human, we turn into motherfucking monsters. The, the predator, alien, Godzilla. No, listen to me what I'm trying to tell you. It's not just a hive list. What I'm trying to tell you, now listen to me what I'm trying to tell you. In these texts is called the monstrous soul. They say man is so far removed from what it really was. And so when it gets a glimpse of his soul, it's fighting at what it sees. Because guess what? When you see them monsters and them demons in the brood at night, guess what? That's your fucking soul. We are monsters. The ancient evil. I'm not telling you some shit that I try to give all the scholarship and stuff like this and all. It's called the monstrous soul. The book Dreams in the Underworld. They talk about these night brood, these breeds. Go back and get the, the, the Greek text where they talk about the Titans. When the Titans fell, what were these Titans? There was a bunch of brood and a breed of these slimy, grotesque things. That's what the fuck fell. That's what the Olympian realm of Zeus and them defeated. They defeated a bunch of monsters. It's in the goddamn movie, Demon Knight. What's the name of that movie? Uh, Tales from the Crypts. Tales from the Crypt. Tales from the Crypt. Demon Knight with Billy Zane. And Jada Pickett. And they say, in the beginning, demons 
refuse to rule the earth. All right? If you get the movie, if you get the movie Wishmaster 1 and 2, this is for the Islamic folks. They say in the beginning, jinns used to rule. And the Wishmaster say what? We got enough wishes, jinns walk the earth again. Especially the Wishmaster 2. Then we are the jinn. We are the Damien. But I ain't talking about some good shit. I, I was candy coating that shit for years. Oh, you know the Damien is good. You know, I ain't really saying, I'm trying to tell you in the book, a cult of the, let me see this book here. Uh, Y'all all right? Yeah. 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 But they will be ushered in by one dark messenger called Nearly Hotep, the dark god. And he's called Crowling Chaos. Now, Cthulhu and them used to rule, and we and where, where man they say where man rules now, the great old ones used to rule. When the great old ones where man rules now, the great old ones shall rule again. Now stick with me on this, this is very important. They got this H.P. Lovecraft dream of all these damn Cthulhu and all these monsters. And the basis of your monster movie and the basis of horror comes from H.P. Lovecraft Cthulhu mythos, with the call of Cthulhu being the first in 1922. Now, he was getting these things from the dream realm of what he was seeing, and he was a racist. But why, if a man of racist would name the ultimate messenger of his mythology that made him rich? A black man, who is supposed to be the only human of all of them, was the black man, nearly hotel, crawling chaos. Now, stick with me. A guy named Fred L. Pelton in 1947 traced the Cthulhu mythos, which is supposed to be fictional, and line it up with ancient Egyptian, Sumerian, and Greek mythology and prove that the Cthulhu shit of these monsters used to rule is in, the, the, the ancients been talking about this shit for years. And when he first did it, uh, uh, did, did, did this particular uh, 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 book, and wrote this particular thesis, nobody in 1947 would print it. So he ended up dying, his kids sold off the shit, and they weren't able to get this shit to 1996. The, the guy to the, the Cthulhu cult, the, the guy to the, and he has a whole section called, um, a section called Pre-Human and Non-Human Races, Non-Human Cultures. Now, and he calls this shit evil mythology. They were non-human. So, the basis of the monster movie that people have been scared of all these years, but these monsters don't retake their earth, guess what? That's us. This is why the white man gives you religion. He know you ain't gonna never tap into this shit here. This shit here is so motherfucking crazy that you never get it. That's what it's always gonna come to. The Godzilla. You see what I'm saying? These particular entities, but it, uh, these particular entities that are pre- Human or non-human, but in the Book of the Gates, which is the, your hell scene, like Diop said, but Diop, check out the Diop before he died, came to Atlanta, went to the King Center. They even named one day of his mother, check out the Diop's day. He said that the damn Hebrews didn't even have a hell concept until 100 years before Jesus Christ, and they took the Egyptian Book of Gates and drafted it into the hell concept, and that becomes the whole Sheol thing. But the Egyptian Book of the Gates, they only put the complete Book of the Gates out, which is called the Egyptian Book of uh, Heaven and Hell, a big, a big green book. It's, it's, I got it and all. I mean, it's just trying to translate the shit. I mean, it's just, you know, I mean, it's, it's worthless. But they, they, they didn't put it out for, they held it for 90 damn years. But in that, the motherfucking Ani of the person who's going through this shit, when he gets back to his destination, when he gets home, he turns into a goddamn monster. And that's what we are. 
And whenever you have sex, you express that shit. Whenever you give away to the muse, whenever you give away to the indulgence, you tap back into that primal energy. That's why they got you in church. We have become humans when we are something else. We are titan figures. So y'all understand, this is who we're becoming. We're turning back into those beings. But here's the thing about it. Um, we're gonna get, we're gonna do a section on shape shifting and all that, you know, very soon. But this is how these beings, these beings, these inorganic beings see us because they're not organic to the planet. All right, you the Moors talk about how we turned into monsters all right so they had to find a way to put us in a sleep state this plasma storm that just happened yesterday this took us up a whole nother level on a whole nother level and we shifted time time last shifted last night all right when i woke up stock market had crashed again that means timelines has shifted all right Glad to be with you, and it is an honor to be among the original beings of this realm. All right, it's my honor to serve you all. All right, much power to you all.